Okay, what's going on guys? Today we're back with the Civic, but, okay, so we're doing the brake master cylinder today, and we're checking the bore size, so like how big the, to make sure the new one that we got that's still in the box is the right size, so yeah, um, we need 12 millimeter, I guess wrench, and there's two bolts. There's one right there. Or you can see it. There's one right there. And there's one on the other side right there. So you take those off. And we're just going to pull it back. Okay, yeah. I'm going to take this off real quick. And I'll be back. Okay, we got the two bolts off. The one that's right there. And the one on the other side right there. Okay, so what is this called? Micrometer? Micrometer. Okay, so we use this to check the size of this, like, outer ring thing, I guess. Just slide it on there. And then we checked it on the old one, too. And then we checked this, the size of this thing, the shaft one. And we checked it on that one, too. And Yeah. And that's how we tell what size we, or if it's the same size. And okay, so there's a little gasket that's right around here and the gasket was on there But it's stuck in that little so yeah, I'm gonna dig that out real quick and And I got it. Yeah, so all you do is you just peel it out and yeah, okay I forgot to say where it was from um There it's from rock auto uh, Talon. There's the part number. So if y'all want to get the same one that we got. Okay, okay, so ours had a bunch of rust on the brake booster thing. And so, because it didn't have a gasket on it. So if y'all are going to do, like, put a new one on, make sure y'all have a gasket for it. So that it doesn't get a whole bunch of rust and stuff in it. Okay, so we're going to use this wire brush. To clean up some of this rust right here and yeah we're just gonna clean up some of the rust okay so I don't know how much of that y'all actually saw but all I did was press that in a lot of times until like until it stopped bubbling until these tubes in there stopped bubbling and then uh took them out and put these plugs in but it did drip so we put some paper towels down and yeah so just put the plugs in until you get that one ready the one over here you take the tubes out or whatever you take the tubes out of those so that you could get it ready for to go into this one and then yeah and then you bleed all the brakes okay so whenever you're trying to take your uh little brake lines off those little lines that are on each side um you want to use this you want to use this little what flare wrench it's called a line wrench um but you would want to use a you would want to use a 10 millimeter on this kind of car. I'm gonna find a 10 and then I'll be back. Okay, I got a 10 millimeter. I'm gonna put my finger over it real quick to stop it from leaking too much. And then I'm gonna take the other one off on the other side and um, switch it over, I guess.
So. Oh. I forgot to unplug it. Don't tip it. Okay. Ugh. gonna put it back in now um i'm gonna first bolt it to the car and then i'm gonna do the lines oh gotta get that okay slip it on get the washers put the washer on first put the nut on and tighten it first if i could even reach that This is connecting the fluid level sensor so that it will work. Now we have to bleed all the brakes starting from the farthest one, which would be all the way back there. And then you go to that one, and then that one, and this one. Because I, I don't know why, but that's how you have to do it. I had to take my hoodie off. That was kind of hard. But we're gonna take all the wheels off. Take that one. Well,. Yeah, we're going to jack the car up, take all the wheels off, and then from there, I'll show y'all how to bleed, a, bleed the brakes. It's not super hard, because we have the, we have this, like, vacuum brake bleeder. It's like autumn. It's like an automatic brake bleeder thing. I don't know if y'all can see that. Instead of having to hook something up to the brakes, um, instead of having to hook something up to the brakes and then, uh, Pushing, have somebody else pushing the brake, the brake pedal a couple times. But yeah, I'm gonna jack the car up, take the wheels off, and yeah, I'll show y'all how to bleed the brakes from there. If it wasn't super clear whenever I was actually doing it, all you do is that's the little nub thing that you loosen. Then you put the little end that's over here. You put this little end on it and then you let it just cycle through and that'll like, it'll start sucking the bubbles through. And then whenever it's done, and no more bubbles are coming through. You tighten it back up, take it off, and then um, let the bubbles like let the oil go through the little machine, the vacuum brake bleeder thing. And yeah, we're gonna put the wheels on real quick, and then we're gonna go take it for a little ride. Okay, we're gonna go on a little. We're gonna go on a ride to see if the brakes got better, but yeah. So once we're on the road, I'll start recording again.
Okay, that was just us driving it a little bit. Um, that's gonna be it for the video. Um, if you liked it, subscribe, please. And, um, yeah, that's it for the video. Next video, we're probably gonna fix the transmission leak. See if that takes the check engine light off. Hit subscribe, like, comment, whatever you want. I don't care. Um, and that's it. Peace.